Hey guys, Ollie here, Game Room Hero, and today we're talking Titanfall. I haven't said that in a while. Okay, so let's get the elephant out of the room real quick. I realize that this review is a little late considering Titanfall 2 dropped in October and uh, it's early 2017 now. But nonetheless, as someone who quite liked the first game and is only just now at the time to play its sequel, I wanted to share my thoughts. So without further ado, here's my review of Titanfall 2. Two and a half years. That's how long it's been since Respawn Entertainment dropped the bombshell that was the first Titanfall. And over the last couple of years, it seems every other shooter has tried to ape the original game's movement system. But now the mechs and the jetpacking pilots are back, and they've brought a proper single player campaign, retuned movement, and more Titans than you can shake a stick at. We're We'll make a pilot out of you yet, Life. Titanfall 2 picks up right after the events of the first game and the attack on Demeter, with the IMC and militia factions still at war over the fate of the Frontier world. You guys remember that? Yeah, me neither. No matter though, because in Titanfall 2, we now have a real, honest to goodness single player campaign, and not just multiplayer matches with a shoehorned in Skype call from your mom. Hello! Better yet, it's mostly solid and sometimes even exceptional. Now we're talking! <laughs> you play as Jack Cooper, a militia rifleman hoping to make his way in the frontier and someday become a pilot. Following a short, albeit fun, tutorial, Cooper is launched headfirst into combat with enemy forces. And as with any good action movie, it's not long before the bad guys wipe out your entire squad and Cooper is left for dead. By the skin of your teeth, you survive and awake to find a lone titan and a dead pilot. After getting your bearings and resuscitating that hunk of junk, BT-7274 properly introduces himself, and the duo set off before Cooper becomes that thing's dinner. Put simply, Titanfall 2 is a straight-up buddy cop movie, and the relationship between BT and Cooper is at its heart. So while the campaign is a short one at only about five or six hours, the way the two play off one another through branching dialogue and subtle jabs makes them instantly likable. I would accompany you, but unfortunately my chassis will not fit through the door. Oh, lucky you. I detect sarcasm. <laughs> that said, the outlining story is a simple A to B affair, but you know what they say, it's more about the journey than the destination, folks. Though, there is one moment in the middle that I'll stop short of spoiling, but when you see it, you'll know it, because it's absolutely superb. This makes for a solid effort, and delivers a mostly entertaining campaign that is only occasionally by the numbers. As for the mechanics of Titanfall 2, Respawn kept most things the same, but has changed up a few of the components since the first game. It's the little things that matter, as they say, and while the movement is noticeably different, the game plays very much like before, with familiar acrobatics, explosions, and mechanized punches being tossed all around, with a new grappling hook being thrown in for good measure. All in all, Titanfall 2 really hasn't missed a beat, but let's get right to it. I think we all knew the multiplayer would be good, and it is, but before we talk about that, I need to mention just how well done the campaign is. Suffice to say, it's damn good. What I find most refreshing about it is how open most of the areas are. You won't find many corridors in Titanfall 2, and for the most part, you're navigating massive spaces with lots of verticality, momentum, and hidden secrets. Now, when it comes to using BT, on the other hand, your metal companion doesn't pull any punches either, and can be augmented with any of the different Titan classes available. Let's go ahead and talk about those for a moment. While the first game had three separate classes to choose from, Titanfall 2 now has six different variants. There's heavy hitters, like the Gatling gun-wielding Legion, and then there's my personal favorite, Scorch class which deals its damage with incredible pyrotechnics. We also have swifter titans, like the sword-wielding Ronin and flying Northstar. 
Now to round things out, there are two middle of the road classes in the laser shooting ion and the missile craze tone titans. They're all pretty fun to play. Now onto the multiplayer where you're gonna put these to use. Familiar modes like attrition and hardpoint return, but the real star is bounty hunt. A mode which has you doing bounties for cash and then banking your winnings at specific points on the map. Oh, and if you're killed en route to said points, you lose half your cash. Without a doubt, this is the single best addition to multiplayer and feels like the definitive way to play the game. Now if I had one complaint about the modes, it's that the others just aren't all that great by comparison. You've got things like Pilot vs. Pilot and Colosseum. These ones remove the Titans and are pilots only. They aren't great. Then there's modes like Last Titan Standing, which starts everyone with a mech. And it's a one life affair, but the problem with both of these types of modes is that once you remove either the pilots or titans, the game loses its uniqueness and the maps just don't feel like they work. I really don't find them worthwhile to say the least. So to sum it up, not every mode is a winner. Good progression and frantic matches are just as addictive as ever, and the single player only bolsters Titanfall's already rock solid foundations. <laughs> If there's one area where Titanfall 2 is a little rusty, it's the graphics. Like the original game, it makes use of a heavily modified version of the Source Engine. Yes, the same Source Engine that powered Half-Life 2 way back in 2004. And let me tell you, it's not exactly aging like fine wine. Now, that said, it's not as if Titanfall 2 looks particularly bad per se but there is a sense that the series may be better served with a more modern engine powering the action. Granted, the game does make up for this by having some fantastic art direction. Lush jungles, tightly wound IMC facilities, and an impressive sense of scale give Titanfall 2 something unique amongst the Me Too shooter crowd. Strange. I'm picking up traces of my own data signature within this area. Take that, and add in some excellent sound design full of crackling metals and beefy guns from a distant future, and you've got, well, great sound design. The game does fall a little short in the soundtrack department, though. While the arrangements do their job during key moments, I can't think of any single note that really moved me. Now the voice acting, on the other hand, that comes to save the day because it's very well done and characters all have a real gusto to them. I loved it. Now taken as a whole, it's fair to say I really enjoyed Titanfall 2. However, despite some exemplary parts and excellent action, I can't help but feel this really is just the game we should have gotten the first time around, rather than a tenfold improvement to the ideas of Titanfall 1. A great game Titanfall 2 does make, but would I call it a standout in 2017? Simply put, no. But would I say you should go out and buy it right now? Absolutely. Titanfall 2 gets a 4 out of 5. And the single campaign... Oh, fuck. And my personal favorite, Scorch Clash. Damn. Hmm. <sighs> and my personal favorite, the Scorch Clash. Fuck. <laughs>